Hey guys! Welcome back to the video today. Oh wait, I'm gonna have to put this in the volume. Hey guys! Alright. Wait, where's the thing? Okay. Okay. Hey guys, what's first here? Oh, come on, man. Alright, yeah, so then that. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be playing Mechanism to make a map search start. And first, here I just want to say, why should you subscribe? I'm trying to actually say games and put it on a super second I put every day. So, last time I played this game, um, I got to a. Uh, hey, the last one was good. I got to a hefty checkpoint. Um, I got to, uh, uh what, what, I, I forgot the name. Oh, yeah, the, the, uh, the night 17. That's night 17. Which is cool, I guess. Um, and today I plan to go, I plan to beat Night 17, and I think there is an easy way to do it, because I know how to beat the later Knights, and they seem pretty easy, I think. Although on Night, what was it, Night 15, I have to check something, because I'm curious about something. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So there are eight endings, though. But like, apparently, people have only gotten like five or six of them. Which, if that's the thing, I'm not gonna try to get more. I'm gonna Google um what to do, how to get the endings, blah blah blah, and. I'm gonna get the endings. And if I don't, that will be sad actually. Pretty pretty sad. Um I'm also gonna I'm not only just gonna Google, I'm gonna like scour the internet if I can't find the answer immediately. It's gonna look everywhere and whenever if I don't actually manage don't find it after a bit of research, then I'm just gonna say like I can find it at the end. But like, again, I'm pretty sure one of them is by getting all the cake and killing all the purple guys. I don't know. It might be, but it might be not. I don't know. I mean, I'm pretty sure it is. Like, you have an option of doing one or the other, so. Yeah, I would think so. Because then, I guess... Why would the purple guy be there, right? Or would they allow you to kill him and get the cake? That might be a nice if we do that. Should be the same thing. At least that's my logic. Oh yeah, also, um, weather report, because why not? Um, it's like 40 degrees. It's not really 40, but like... 36 or 30 something Celsius, which is like a hundred. I, I don't think it's a hundred, but like it's maybe, maybe a hundred over a hundred Fahrenheit. I think I don't know, but it's around a lot, all right. It's like a lot of Fahrenheit. I don't know. I I I I learned I learned in Celsius and meters and centimeters. Not I learned in metric system. Not the not the normal system. Not no. I learned a metric system. Not the other one. I don't know. The name. I, I don't know the name. The ones Americans and you pro and apparently also British people use. I don't, I don't know, man. 
the Fahrenheit just I don't know. Um, but it's it's hot, all right. Thirty six to forty Celsius. But then again, it is August, so. I know the cool life for some reason. Okay, so three cog wheel. What the hell? Oh my god, okay. Screw you two. Okay, never mind. All the five of the cogs have to regenerate. Oh god. Is that. What is that? Was that. Oh, what the. What, was the blood always there? Oh my god. Okay, okay, I'm fine with that. I'm fine with that. Okay, now he's breaking. Breaking badly. Oh my god. Oh my god. No! No, 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 please! Oh! I didn't even play this stupid sound. Oh, this is out to a terrible start. It's after a horrible start, actually. Oh, uh, yeah. Grab. Yeah. I, I actually do want to get to night 16, not even, like, not as much night 17, and that's because, um, because, um, because why? Because I'm dying. Oh yeah, because, um, I wonder what's, because, you know, when I went to night 16 and I went up, and then there was the pink spring bonnie. But like, what what happens if I go down? What happens then? Well, also, this is probably not like the correct place to talk about this. But like the previous sneak thief video got zero views, or it ha it has zero views for now. Which, by the way, that sucks because like I put a lot of effort into that, a lot of suffering went into it. But hey, at least I beat it. Um, but thing is, I have not gotten like zero views in a long time. Well, I mean, it is kind of like almost not even the f like not even it has not even been a full 24 hours yet um, of it being uploaded. Um, and so, yeah, it might rack reviews. The same thing happened with the Security Breach video, the ruined Security Breach video, which is an hour long, and I complained a lot about that. That got zero views at the start, but then it started racking up views uh, after. Also, I found I find that very funny. Um, I think it's the most recent post where he like uh, took the scene where Roxas says, "Give me back my eyes." Um, when she finds Cassidy, I took away the voice lines and I put the my emoji. I posted I I posted it as a joke that like it popped up in the game, and then it it literally the video got like ten or five views like almost immediately after I posted that. It's pretty stupid and funny at the same time. I was to do more of those posts, but I don't- I- I didn't. So, yeah. Oh my god! Sniper! Tactics right here. Dude, I cannot talk today. What is wrong with me? I'm not even tired or anything. Oh, I guess it's because do I have water? I don't. I should probably get water after the recording. Also, I should probably like move my whole office to the basement because it's like freezing cold down there. I don't know why. The basement is literally freezing. But it's pretty hard to breathe in there, maybe because the um, the moistness is 80, apparently, or something. Apparently, if it gets to 100 moistness, it says HHH, which means high, 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 I think. Yeah, that, that's a problem. 
Um, but it it never has gone to HHH. It's only gone to HHH when you touch it because like your body is oily and moist and pretty weird too. But when you touch it, it goes up and so does the temperature. But like normally it does not do that. Meaning that it we have I have not touched that in like what is today? Today is the ninth. I have not touched that in four days. Which is that is concerning, alright? Because apparently moist air is not good for the lungs in the long run. So we have to put on the filter so it doesn't kill us all. But yeah, if you if like that I I literally just thought of that today, like if you're hot, which you are because it's literally like any piece of clothing you have on is like it turns your body temperature up to one bajillion. Of course, I'm not naked overall. It's, I have some pieces of clothes on. Um, but like every other, like let's say if you put on like a pants, like not even the most thin, most thin and like the mini mini shorts. If you put, heck, even if you put on a mini skirt, even your body temperature just skyrockets from like 30 degrees to 55. But yeah, that's how hot it is. But hold on, what's the hottest place on earth? It's um in America, Death Valley, right? Which is like 40 something or 50 something. I don't know. The maximum that I've heard is like 40 to 42, I think. No, I think it's 40, which is in the middle of town or city. But wherever you go in this country, it's gonna be hot. Unless you go up, up, up into the mountains. Where even then, it's pretty hot. Like, unless you go like to the point where like it starts snowing, it's pretty hot. And so you might... But yeah, you you have to drink a lot of water, or, or else you're gonna dehydrate and then hospital. Yeah, I've been drinking a lot of water to realize, and I usually don't drink water. I only drink when I'm like because first things first, soup. I eat soup a lot. I eat a lot of soup. Um, which you know, soup is like water with some delicious things in it. Which yeah, that <laughs> I get that. Uh, so. Um, as we all know in the summer, watermelons are a thing, which are basically just water and some like uh, natural like vitamins and stuff like that. But yeah, like a lot of it, kind of like humans, a lot of it is water. And so I eat those too. And yeah, I usually, usually like in cold times, like winter because of soup. And sometimes I guess drinking water. I don't drink like that much water because I get water from like foods, which you get in your, which you get like when you're eating anything. You get water unless it's like unless it's like a Popeyes biscuit or something that drags water out of you. I had a Popeyes biscuit, just saying, and I don't know if I should have one, but yeah, apparently it you will die if you if you don't. Go up and down with water. Which, like, you know, I had some dry foods. And w one time I was eating, the uh, like, some things and, like, it got stuck in my throat and I almost threw up because I coughed so hard. Um, anyway. Doors are burst open. Anyway, so. Come on. Yeah. Anyway, so yeah. Oh, you get a thousand points every time you kill my bird, alright. Okay, okay. Great. Okay. 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 Ok
grab it. Okay, so yeah, basically, it's very hot. <laughs> TLDR. Um, but yeah, yeah, I don't usually drink a lot of water when, like, you know, I'm not sweating, like, excreting water in every other way. Mine is peeing, because if you drink a lot of water, you already pee, but yeah. Like, if I'm not, like, exercising a lot or something, I don't usually drink water that much, because, you know, food that I eat quenches my thirst. <laughs> but, like, in the summertime, I, I have realized that I drink, like, three bot bottles. Like one bottle is like half a liter of water per day plus food intake, which is a lot of water. Or um, maybe not three, but like two at, at like two. And there was one time where like I I I bought like I took the water to bed to bed like I put it in the stand next to the bed, and um basically in through the night it, it was full so it was half a liter through the night i drank it all and then when i woke up i was thirsty and i couldn't drink anything because it was empty but yeah i think that should put a scope on how hot it can get oh god which i don't know if that's because of like um, where I live, or it's because of the global warming that, uh, they're, they're jamming out. I don't know if it's because of global warming or just where I live that it's this hot. Probably because of global warming. We have to do, really, really have to do something about it, but, like, knowing humanity, pretty sure we're gonna, like, do something about it when, like, basically we start dying. Slowly. When we start, when we're like, almost all dead. Oh god. I mean, yeah, there are countless movies on like, how like, um, humans... There are countless movies on like, how, uh, in, in like a few hundred, uh, a few centuries, or like a few millennia, um, humans have Ex oh hey, it's Golden Freddy again. Humans have um, excreted so much CO2 that like it's literally dangerous to go outside because you'll die. Which it's not only dangerous because of like you know CO2s you can't really breathe it in, or else you know you'll die. It's also because of the greenhouse effect, which is basically um, as you all know how the ozone layer works. Here, this is silent talking, but like I'm literally, literally, what else am I supposed to talk about? This is like a game where like the first thing that comes to mind just talk about it. It's, it's gonna be more entertaining like not even talking about anything Except for politics. Don't talk about politics ever Anyway, so yeah. As you all know how the ozone layer works is that it Sun comes down on us and ozone layer reflects most of it But CO2 reflected back to Earth which causes the Earth to warm up rapidly So it's also because of the greenhouse effect But like and we need to rapidly stop wasting money on killing each other and start putting in money to live after like a few hundred years. And I'm pretty sure everyone watching this video, including me, will die before that even happens. But like, you know, everything has to die. Even humanity will go extinct at some point. But let's not make that in a hundred years. Let's make that in a few billion years when the sun explodes. Or turns into a red giant, not explodes. The sun is too small to do a supernova. Alright, okay, let's let's have the sun. Let's have the sun. Uh, let's have like the sun kill us when it turns into a red giant and sucks us in, and not and not ourselves. But also, also, here's the thing: there are around like four thousand or forty thousand nukes on the world, in the world, not on the world. Um, that exist on planet Earth, and um, thing is, what I'm thinking is that those nukes should not be used on each other because one nuke can literally like destroy Earth, and if a nuke is big enough, it might literally like turn the orbit the other way, which will definitely kill us all. Um, yeah, it should be used on stuff like 
the ourselves or other countries. It should nukes. I think nukes should be used on like stuff like asteroids, which like because you know if ash if a giant asteroid is turning our way, it, that will most likely destroy us all. Which I th I'm pretty sure like asteroids is one of those things where like you're a hundred percent about to die. Stuff so, other stuff like man like world like ice caps melting or something. People might survive and thrive but like in a shorter amount but like the uh, an asteroid big enough to destroy earth will kill us all we're all gonna die so what i'm thinking is that we can use these nukes to x bomb asteroids right we can like get like like a, if like an asteroid bigger than earth is heading away we can get like like a few hundred or a thousand let's say nukes oh my god a hundred or thousand nukes uh shoot it at the asteroid and then it will it will, the orbit of the asteroid will change because if if a hundred if a, if like a hundred nuclear bombs or like even less than that can change the orbit of earth they can definitely change the orbit of an earth sized asteroid right and so if, if even if it doesn't change the orbit we can destroy it smaller pieces we can shoot the bombs again, which will destroy any of the small pieces. And they will be so small pieces that, like, the, uh, it, they will burn up to Earth's atmosphere. Because, like, there's a lot, a lot of tiny little comets or comets or asteroids that head towards Earth. But a lot of them get burned up to the atmosphere before they hit you. And it's so rare for a person to get hit by an asteroid that it has only, I think, happened once in history. Once, only one time in like the 40 or like around the 200 or 2 million years that humans have lived on Earth. Only one time, which is a lot. That's like one person having like, that's like one person, I don't know, having like a disease out of, well not a disease actually, it's like one person. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know what example to give, but like, it's, that's a lot of, that's not a lot of people. <laughs> and, yeah. So like, we could shoot the asteroid repeatedly until it's either, it either changes orbit completely, or like it, re it gets reduced in uh, tiny, tiny astro- comets slash asteroids, which then just burn up into the atmosphere. Although the problem is that if, 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 if it does enter Earth, earth and land on earth but like like it doesn't land on earth because like massive damage like maybe it's like maybe it's like uh, i don't know 10 meters or something basically if it lands on earth but it doesn't cause much damage um it basically just lands on earth and then it's like a tiny little explosion and that's it if that happens the problem will be that it won't be the problem that you know Earth got hit by an asteroid that can be taken care of. The problem will be the radioactive radioactivity, basically, um, on that asteroid. Which, if it hits a city, that might be dangerous. If it's if it lands in like the Sahara Desert or something, that's I guess fine. Because like if you're in the in, if you're in the middle of the Sahara Desert, you're gonna die. You're gonna die anyway, basically. So like, yeah, no difference. Although, like, if it lands in, like, a huge city, say, like, New York, or Moscow, or, I don't know, what other big cities are there, um, Tokyo, <laughs> I can't think of cities right now, if it lands in, like, giant cities like that, it will cause damage, or, like, I don't know, yeah, it, it will cause damage, a lot of damage, if it lands in, like, an isolated area, like, again, Sahara Desert, or maybe the, the, uh, the Arctic Poles, then it might, well, Arctic Poles might, they might melt a lot of the ice, which would be a problem, but, like, if, like, it lands in the Sahara Desert, you're gonna die anyway. If, if it lands in the middle of the Sahara Desert, it won't cause a problem, because you're gonna die anyway in the middle of the Sahara Desert. So, yeah. That's what I'm thinking of. That we should use the nukes we have to deter uh, mysterious things like asteroids or like life threatening things like asteroids and not on use it on each other because you know every single president like in the world that every single person of a country that has nukes it has enough brain power to realize that one nuke will one nuke will cause a domino effect which will kill us all which thank god they're that smart 
I mean, to be honest, it doesn't really take like a just like it doesn't really take a genius to know how much damage a nuke, a gigantic bomb, will cause to people. And the thing is, that a nuke will it won't just be one nuke. It will be a domino effect because one it it will be a or is it a butterfly effect? I get no, it's a domino effect. Or like one nuke and then it's followed up by even more nukes. I guess it might also be a butterfly effect because one nuke is followed by even more nukes. But like that's not even true, I think. I I don't know man. But like Wait, no, it is probably it is true, but like I don't know. I don't know if it's the domino or the butterfly effect, but it is a effect of some sorts. Alright? And it's not a good one. At all. Like, it's bad. It's really bad. If a nuke... If one nuke is launched. And I'm pretty sure the, country, the only country that's gonna do it is Russia. I, I feel like it's gonna be Russia to launch the first nuke. If the first nuke is launched, which... I pray that... Well, not only me. A lot of people pray that a nuke is never launched. Because, again, a nuke launched means the end of the world. Unless it's, like, launched by accident. But even then, that's kind of like before it's like before the message gone. They're like, "Oh, sorry, some s stupid idiot clicked." No, no, no. That's not even an excuse because like a nuke can cause damage. Again, the only time a nuke launching is not terrible is if we launch it at things that threaten life, like for example, asteroids, gigantic asteroids that might wipe out humanity. But like otherwise, if you launch, like don't launch it. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to say here. What's down here again? Oh. Oh yeah, it's Roxy. Roxy plush. Man, I want to get to 100,000 destruction points, but I don't know if that's gonna happen ever. I mean, we're at level like 14, I think this is. Oh god. Yeah, 15,000 more. This guy gives me electricity, never mind. Should I drop? Oh no, I don't have enough bullets, never mind. Wait, wait a minute, no, I will get enough bullets. Should I drop down? Risk it? <sighs> Too late. But then again, there's like a battery, yeah. How do I get over there? Can I like. No. Oh, I have to. I what? Do I have to drop down in a specific. I think I have to drop down in a specific place. Three. Yeah, we have more than enough energy. Okay, go, go, go. Okay, let me drop down in that specific place, grab the two golden person and the golden cupcake, I think those were, and then get the hell out of here. Crap, I did not mean to do that. No, no, regenerated. Um, anyway, wait, what was I saying before they started talking about nukes? I completely forgot. Okay, boom, 90. Okay, all we need is 8,000, which can be achieved very easily. After, yeah, all we need is 8,000. No, 7,000 now. Yeah, we're probably gonna get to 100,000 destruction points. But I'm pretty sure I'm gonna get dead. I'm gonna die if I don't hurry up. I gotta go, I gotta go, I gotta go, go, go. Fast, too. Fast and furious. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. I'm just gonna, I'm stressing. Man, in that last week's video, again, I was sweating. Sweating is so hard that my, like, like, the, it went onto the computer how hard I was sweating. Cause I was terrified of something coming out and killing me. But I mean, I did have 71%, but anyway, okay, night 15. I gotta check something out. Oh god, yeah. Go, go! Music! Boom, boom, boom. Oh, yeah, okay. Two, three. Two, two. Oh, it is locked, okay.
So I gotta hurry up then. <laughs> Alright, so never mind. It is locked by the door. It is locked by a door, so yeah. Okay. I'm just gonna grab it. I don't have that much time. Time is the most valuable thing right now. I mean, time is the most valuable thing, period. Because it's like, it's the only thing you can't get back, really. You can get new friends, you can get, um, you can get new, yeah, you can get new friends, you can get new everything, actually. You can get a lot of things. You can find new love. You can do a lot of new things. With money that can't buy, but you can't get more time because, like, you're destined to die at some point because you're mainly because your organs control all delete themselves because they can't take the stress of you living anymore. Okay, oh my god, dude, I'm gonna start sweating again so profusely. Go, go, go. After I murdered the person, the better. Wait, wait a minute. Can't I just shoot, like, that one, like... Actually, no, it's better to just run. Get out the way! There we go. Okay, okay. Yeah, it was not worth to kill that person. I'd have died. Okay. Grab. Okay, now they're watching me. Oh my god, slow down close. There we go, 100,000 destruction points. What's down here? Oh god, it's gonna lead you to a boss fight, isn't it? <gasps> oh my god! What is that? Oh! Alright, that was horrifying. Oh yeah, Chica says to go the other way. Yeah, that way, says Chica. But I can't. Yes! Okay. Go! If I start to do this, the better. Who knows by the way it's just I mean we did make it to 17. Go to beat 17, so Friday. Hello there. Come on. Grab. Okay, go, go, go. Again, the faster I do this the better. I have no idea. Wait, not locked. I think we need a key for that. Oh yeah, you do this. Oh, there's two of you. There's, I also just saw Montgomery Gator. Okay, we have enough battery life. What are he doing? I missed. How do I get that? What did I just get? Oh my god. Oh my god, okay! I get it. Man, a lot of these people- <gasps> Uh oh. I gotta go. Oh, Harry. Night 70 complete. Okay, let's go. Whew, I did it. Oh, hey, Sun and Moon. I scared to do this. Oh. Moon? <gasps> Hi! Oh, God. Hey, don't kill anyone, Savior. Do not. Do not. It's tempting. Alright, life. Alright. I do not know where I'm going. Oh, that's blocked. Chica! Hi there, little guy. Okay, I have to shoot him. Even though I'm actually scared. Okay, there's one drop off. I really hope you drop me to purple guy because I'm gonna die. Oh yeah, why didn't purple guy have his like thing on? His 
uh, or whatever the hell it's called. Please give me battery life. Damn it! I didn't give me anything because I missed. Please, please, batteries or electricity. I missed again. Come on! Come on! Come towards me! Okay, fine. Yes! What did you give me? Nothing! Oh my god, that is bright and vibrant. I don't like how bright that is. Oh my god. Okay. Oh no, is this? Crap. This is not good. This is not good at all. Oh hey, wait a minute. There's a key. How am I supposed to get the hell out of here? How am I supposed to leave? Wait, how do I get out of here? Oh god, wait, how do I leave? Oh no! Wait, help! No! Oh no! Uh oh! Okay, I have, to, I have to get out of here. Oh my god, I'm gonna die, I'm dead! Wait, what am I supposed to do? I think I'm trapped. Wait. Damn it, no, I'm trapped. Yeah. Okay, at least we got to my 18. But what am I? Okay, there we go. Yeah, at least we got to night 18. All right. Well, think about it like that. We got to night 18. We made progress. It's gonna continue. Although at night 18, we have to beat night 18, and then that's the ending. Um. Yeah, I think it's going to be the. I think yeah, I think I have my title on thumbnail. I wanna think about it a little bit. I'm gonna have to think about it a little bit, but yeah. Um, we made progress, so that's great. Um, we made progress, that's great. And yeah, for now, guys. Um, yeah, tomorrow we're gonna probably beat it. I don't, I don't know if, but hopefully. But yeah, for now, guys, I guess that's for the video. And see you next time. Bye bye.